Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another second stimulus check in sec, or rather, actually, in this case, you could even say possibly even almost a third stimulus package and third stimulus, although we'll have to see to confirm there. Because the really, really great news, I guess, to kick off the, um, the story is that the really, really crazy grand great news that some of you guys may or may not have already heard by now is, is that yesterday was the Georgia Senate elections after the incredibly long wait. And the incredible news to really be able to share with you guys is, is that at this current time, it looks like the Senate is now, it's, it's, it's crazy to say this, but basically it's it's now officially on the verge of possibly flipping over to the Democrats. And as crazy as it is to really, really think, and I'm speaking as objectively as is possible, is, is that there is a very reasonable chance to think right now. The only reason I say reasonable is because at this current time, the Democrats have officially basically won the Senate elections. I just don't because they haven't fully certified and confirmed yet. That's the only reason why is. But the really, really grand news to share is that at this current time, according to most news articles, most news sources, and where the polls stand, and where the polls have basically already officially counted so far, they just haven't, again, made it official. But at this current time, the Senate is basically about to get flipped over to the Democratic Party. And as crazy as it is to really, really think, I think this really has been the moment that we've really been waiting for. And that's what I really wanna cover in today's video because in today's video, I wanna talk all about the Georgia elections. I also wanna now take a dive and revisit to the 2000 and even the potential of a third stimulus package now is, is because now that we actually do more or less have the results of the Georgia Senate elections, it's, it's just, it's surreal. We're gonna talk all about that in today's video, so let's get started. But before we begin, make sure you smash the like button as always in light of this really, really great news that I think most people will want to hear or that I've already basically shared more or less. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button for future updates and feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about anything at all, especially after the incredible run of last night if you guys did watch the Georgia Senate elections or really just at any time as you're watching. <laughs> Alright, let's get this video started. So in yesterday's video, I did talk a little bit more about where we currently stand with the $2,000 stimulus checks. So if you guys are interested by any chance, feel free to consider checking out yesterday's video if you guys haven't done so already. I believe it's just called Mitch McConnell Today because it talks about today, which is, well, yesterday was today, um, which was the Georgia Senate elections and about how every, where we currently stand with the negotiations and the fact that Mitch McConnell, um, his, his home being vandalized, him blocking the stimulus checks, his power as the majority leader or I guess in this situation now, almost the minority leader. So our Senate soon to be minority leader. So the really, really fast recap about yesterday's election is that we had four candidates going up for two seats. In order for the Senate to flip, both seats have to go to the Democrats because if it becomes a thing where both seats go to the Republicans or one seat goes to the Democrats, one goes to the Republican, then the Republican would still stay in control. The real reason why is, is because since we currently have a presidential candidate who's Democratic, it means that we just have to basically tie right now or at least before yesterday, it currently stood the standing inside of the 100 seats for the U.S. Senator. It was basically 48 Democrats, 50 Republicans, and two open seats. Um, today now, by the end of today, it looks like we are now going to officially complete it and have a true 50-50 split between the 50 Democrats, 50 Republicans inside of the Senate. And now with a Democratic president inside of the House, it does mean that the vice president, so Kamala Harris, would be the tiebreaker who would basically help to control the Senate now. I just know that when I was watching yesterday, and maybe if you guys were also watching, feel free to comment your thoughts, it was a very, very intensely close one. And I think that it was one where everyone was just off the edge watching. The entire world was just watching that one state counting that they could possibly try to flip it. I just know that the big thing I think is that for most of that race yesterday, I'm pretty sure is, is that they were within like a percent of each other. I think that in the f one of the round, because keep in mind there's two, you know, there's two parts of the Georgia Senate elections. In the in the in the race that was going on between Kelly Leffler and um, and Raphael Warnock, I I think that the general ideas is that it was a very very close race. Most people feel though that they think Warnock probably had a reasonable chance of beating Kelly Leffler. I think that the one that was really really like truly, truly intense to watch. It was really the one between David Perdue and Ossoff. And I think that it was really because um, compared to Leffler, I think is that Perdue versus Leffler, 
Purdue is a much, much, much more likable candidate than Leffler. And I think on top of the fact that because when it comes to David Purdue, he is not only significantly more experienced, I believe he's over like 70 years old, and I believe Ossoff was literally like in his 30s or something like that. So we are literally talking about like a man who's literally 70 years old with years and years of experience inside of just life and Congress and politics in general, who was born and raised inside of Georgia, who has years of experience and probably significantly more charisma than Leffler and he's going off against John Ozoff which is basically like a fresh young candidate of like 30 something years old I'm pretty sure like Purdue actually has double the years as crazy as this think he has been on earth for two times the amount of time as John Ozoff so it was really really a tight race I think that that battle yesterday night between Purdue and Ozoff but the crazy thing is, at the very, very last minute, I think I w it was watching, it was something in like the AM Eastern Times, like the very early morning AM Eastern Times. I think that there managed to just be a slight bump and a slight lead. Um, the long story short is, is that the, the idea is that by magic, miracle, unity, teamwork, um, combined efforts all around the nation, Stacey Abrams and everyone combined together. And actually, interestingly, even Donald Trump is massively, hugely to thanks for this. We pulled it off, and the Senate has is has basically officially flipped. We're just waiting for the confirmation, but I think at this point in time, the really, really great news is, is that it really does look like that this year, or I was going to say next year, but this year, because we are now in the brand new years, um, we are very, very likely now going to have a very, very clean blue wave of just a Democratic House, Democratic Senate, Democratic presidency, but at the very least, at the most of all, is, is that we also have now officially brought down Mitch McConnell from the majority leader into the minority leader as crazy as it is to really really think about it and say that so now that we do have a lot lot more of an idea about where the Georgia elections have gone officially gone now that they've officially happened the really really great news is is that with the assumption that every single person now is able to deliver their promise and I mean this from both parties from the Republicans and the Democratic side is is because and I, I do also want to say maybe one quick note is why I think it's a huge huge actual thank you actually in a way to actually Donald Trump in a way and I'm, I'm really trying to speak objectively because I think that regardless of whether you are a Trump supporter or a Biden supporter, I think that one area that we can hopefully feel a lot more united in this is that when it came back to the $2,000 stimulus checks, at the very, very end of the day, it really was something where I think that every single person on both parties were really trying to fight for the $2,000. Trump was fighting for it. Biden was fighting for it. Of course, all, almost all of the Democrats and even many Republicans, too, were also trying to fight for it. So I think that regardless of your opinion about Trump or Biden, this really was a collaborative effort that I think we really have to thank people on both sides for really being able to make this happen because even on Donald Trump's side, Donald Trump was also the person at the end of the day, um, regardless of your opinion about him, is that he was the person at the end of the day that tried to bring up the $2,000 stimulus checks. He is also the person that put Mitch McConnell into a very, very tight situation where he basically had to choose between whether he would try to finally put the $2,000 onto the floor. And I talk a lot more about that in the previous video. So definitely check that out if you guys haven't done so explaining this. But the general idea is, is that he was at the end of the day that really put Mitch McConnell on the spot and he really exposed a lot of the ideals inside of the GOP. And I think it was because of what had happened, we, most of us thought that maybe it would have pressured Mitch McConnell to finally pull through and do it anyway. Um, sadly, in the end, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, he just didn't care. I mean, even after his house was vandalized, even after everything that had happened, he still was very much against it. He basically didn't even want to bring it onto a vote. So it wasn't that people didn't want the 2000. In fact, many senators actually really wanted to. It's just that they didn't even get a chance to even say anything or voice on it because Mitch McConnell blocked it and put it away before anyone could even have a voice to do anything about it. And again, keep in mind is Mitch McConnell was elected seven times, I believe, inside of the Senate. Um, and he's almost like 80 years old, I think, or he's certainly approaching that, that age range. Um, but the general idea is, is that in a lot of ways, we really do have to thank people from both parties, is that actually a huge thanks is because Donald Trump tried to preach for the $2,000 stimulus checks, and also because he tried to challenge a lot of the results inside of the, inside of the elections, and because of his face-off with Mitch McConnell. I 
think that it led to a lot of tension inside of his own very own party itself and that was what I think drove a lot of people the anger the emotion I think over Mitch McConnell and everything that happened I think that was that that was what really really allowed us to really gain that edge and that was what really helped yesterday when we were watching the polls and the blue officially overtook red and the Democrats officially basically started to lead in the Senate runoff elections by literally like not even a percent. I remember there was a pretty long period of time that less than 1% in a way, you can even say it was thanks to Donald Trump actually in a way. I mean, it was thanks to a lot of people. It was thanks to Stacey Abrams. It was thanks to Democrats, but Trump and Biden and every single person I think really did have a role into it. So I think that that's something that we really do have to kind of just really recognize at this time, regardless of your party, that hopefully we can feel united, that this really wasn't America versus Senate, then like a Democrat versus Republican kind of moment. But thankfully, now that we do have the Senate now about to ver uh, on the verge of basically flipping more or less, the really, really great news is that it does mean that we can now have a lot of hope that there is a very reasonable to chance to think that the $2,000 stimulus checks may now very, 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 very much happen. There may even be talks about bringing back the $600 unemployment. There may even be talks about a lot of other government um, relief programs like healthcare relief services, unemployment businesses, support, like it really goes on. And I think that's why it was just such an important election. But that's what I really, really wanted to kind of share with you guys the news about how this is gonna now have a massive, massive, massive game changer to everything in the world of stimulus talks. I really just wanted to share with you guys this really, really great news after that hopefully we can now transition into the brand new year now that we're starting into 2020, 21. Um, happy new year, by the way, guys, if you guys have not. With this another new, hopefully now even just as great news to Add to start and kick off into the brand new year. So that's what I really wanted to share in today's video. Um, feel free, would love to hear your comments, thoughts about anything or your status with stimulus if you've gotten your checks or anything like that. Really just honestly, just anything at all. But I really just wanted to share this in today's video. So with that being said, I'll probably try to make a video about unemployment next. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. We did it, we completed the flip and it's crazy, but History has officially been made. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. Remember to smash the like button, light up this great news, comment, subscribe, um, hit the bell notification button, and really, um, really just about, feel free to comment about really just anything at all. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.